this cause, for this cause, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and be joined and shall be joined unto his wife, two shall be one. For this cause, for this cause, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and be joined, shall be joined unto his wife. And two shall be one. God declares Two shall be one Two shall be one Two shall be one God declares And it's a great mystery The Bible says For this cause For this cause For this cause man leave his father and mother and be joined shall be joined unto his wife two shall be one two shall be For this cause, the scripture speaks of the great mystery of the spiritual union that takes place when two believers are joined in holy matrimony. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar, and this is From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And today is a, a very, very special day. We're talking about marriage in general, but also this is appearing for the very first time, being broadcast on the 52nd anniversary of our marriage. My wife and I, Gwendolyn and I, were married 52 years ago today. And it says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Today the roles and responsibilities of Christian marriage have largely been overlooked. But praise God for faithful preachers and faithful Christians who are in the Word and they know the truth. And the truth is that God designed us, He wired us for this perfect heavenly relationship on earth. We can have something that's going to be as near as heaven as can possibly be attained on earth. Praise the Lord for the grace that He gives. And so as we leave and cleave, we leave our former uh, responsibilities and roles and, and we enter into this union, this spiritual union. God gives us all the, all the necessary uh, resources in order to be a success. We don't have to become a statistic. I'd like to say that God has been very gracious to Gwendolyn and to this preacher, and we have been greatly blessed in our marriage and look forward to more years ahead as God permits. But it is because of God's goodness. It's not because of ourselves or anything that we have done. It is a mystery, and uh, it does picture Christ and His bride, the church, and we have been given all we need in this life to live the way God would have us to live. One of the keys that I see in this passage is that we are to love our spouse as we love ourselves. And there's too much self-love, obviously, but we need to at least love our spouse as we love 
ourself. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you for every home and every godly marriage, and we pray your blessing on those who are about to embark on uh, this uh, journey. I pray that you'll bless them as they seek you and, and uh, desire to have your perfect will. I pray for every boy and girl growing up. Right now, prepare their future spouse. I pray that you'll put a hedge of protection around them and bring them together in your perfect will. Thank you, Lord, that uh, this Christian uh, marriage, this relationship is established by you, Lord, and we have your promises. While our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, what a wonderful day for you to become part of that relationship with the Lord. I'm going to ask you to pray from your heart right now. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now, I ask the Lord to come in my heart and save me, take away my sins, and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer, dear friend, won't you let us know that we might rejoice with you and help you in your Christian growth. And likewise, Christians, let's continue to win souls and praise the Lord for those that are living victorious lives. Praise God for every good home. I pray now that uh, every single one of you will submit to the will of God. Lord, I do ask in Jesus' name that we might have truly godly homes out there in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And as we have sung, Two shall be one, two shall be one, two shall be one, God declares. Two shall be one, two shall be one, two shall be one, God declares. He declares it in His Word. And it's a great mystery. Praise the Lord. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.